Hi everyone, this is a very brief tour of teaching and learning online in spring 2014 and we just want to walk you through ANGEL and this particular course so you get a sense of where everything is. So right now I'm on the landing page and here you'll find any announcements which we'll regularly have based around things coming up or things in the past week, highlights, different information that we want to make sure that uh, gets out to you. If we go to the calendar uh, you'll see right now for December, obviously there's not a lot of, there, there's nothing really due, but if we go to January, we can see it's populated with all the different due dates. The good thing about using the calendar in Angel is that these particular events that we create also funnel into your home page. So on your home page within Angel, you will have a calendar, and that calendar will be populated by any event that pulls any event in a calendar that comes from any of your courses. And this is important for to remember that this is useful for students. So if we go over to lessons, this is where much of the course takes place, uh, and we have it, we have the main page broken down into several different things. Meet your meet your course facilitators, of course, is just you know getting to know who your instructors are. The getting started orientation module. This is a good module to understand the format for this class in that each module that we go into is going to be largely laid out like this. We're going to have topics and objectives, making the connection, assignments and activities, the learning guide collected together as a PDF, and then the different activities that we are going to do that week. So they're all listed here for you to um, quickly access. So that's the layout for each individual module. Right now, Getting Started module is open. Module 1 will be shortly opening. It opens the, Each module opens the day before uh, we expect participants to go in, uh, before, before participants are supposed to start the module. So modules typically start on Monday, and they will be made available on Sunday. So if we go back into lessons and we go into the course materials, again here you want to think about for your own course, what would you want to lay out here? What are the materials that are important for students that aren't necessarily connected to modules but are essential parts of your course? And so we've laid them out. Um, we have discussion guidelines and discussion, discussion board guidelines and discussion rubric. That's not for this course. This is more for you to see those and to be thinking about using those and making sure for your online or hybrid course that they're there uh, since that is likely to be a central feature of your course. The only thing we want to point to is frequently asked questions and frequently asked questions is a document that we're regularly updating. At the, ed at the end of each module we ask if you have any questions in the weekly reflection and when we ask that we get questions from faculty and so we take the time to provide answers to those in this document so this is a this is a compilation of TLO that we've been teaching for the last two or three years that have different questions that have come up so it's it's worth a look taking it's worth taking a look through because you might find something uh, you might find the answer to a question you still had all right, so if we're back here in Teaching and Learning Online, uh, we don't really use the resources uh, in this course, and that's fine. A lot of faculty don't. There, there's not much use for that um, in this course. In other faculty, sometimes find it useful, sometimes don't. But Communicate is a really good resource. Uh, if you're looking to just quickly get into discussions when you come into the course, uh, going to Communicate is really good because you'll see any active or live discussion that you have access to. So right now, when you go in, you won't see all the discussions that I have as course editor, but you will see the ones that you can participate in. And this list will grow as we move through the semester. All right. The other feature I want to show you is the course sandbox. And so if you're on the home page and you have your course listings here, if you go down to sand the TLO Sandbox 2014, this is another feature of teaching and learning online. So in this course, we want to help you create material for your course. We want, it, we want you to think about teaching online, but we also are helping you to cr start to create your course online. And we do this by having the sandbox. So each week you'll have an assignment where you're going to come into TLO Sandbox 2014 and create something. And you'll do that by going into lessons, and going into faculty folders and finding the folder with your name on it and adding the content that 
is required of you that week. And the purpose for this is we realize that it's much more useful for the faculty to get used to using Angel and creating an Angel than it would be just for us to say, okay, create a Word document with you know, this information in it and then upload it to a Dropbox. We really want you to get comfortable as an editor, which is why in TLO Sandbox you are listed as an editor and you have all the editor capabilities. So with that in mind, just be very careful about deleting anything. Uh, most importantly, make sure you don't delete other people's stuff. We can most likely recover it if it happens, but it's a much more challenging thing than if it doesn't get deleted at all. Alright, so that's the tour of Angel and TLO. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know, and thank you for watching.